one more time about to give you another video remember to leave a like share and subscribe also turn on notifications check out my other videos got a lot of ai content and i'll be doing content on a daily basis so just remember to leave a like and share turn on the notifications so let's get into it so we want to talk about morph studio now i did get access to this new application called morph studio and this is a startup uh, AI animation app application. And essentially what this is doing or what it aims to do is to make the animation process easier if you want to sort of go into AI animation or AI video creation. So essentially what we have here is a template right and if you go to morestudio.com once you have access they have about 10, 10 12 templates here that you can play around with uh and just check out so that's what i've been doing uh so the template that i'm looking at right now is the gibby style template and as you can see right here we got some different slots now slots are where you would prompt right and get your different clips right which you can then link together to ultimately create a whole animation right and right here you know, if you click this button right here this allows you to uh bulk upload images right and this allows you to create new slots now if we scroll over here you can see that i created two new slots so let me delete those delete those because I didn't want to create extra slots but you create a slot by clicking this button right here and if you want to bulk upload slots you can upload up to 10 images you can do that and essentially what it's what's happening right here is that we're either prompting or we're using an image to create animation right so and you you know how to create animated images obviously you can go to different places to create animated images you can get animated images from dolly you can get animation style or and when i say animated images i mean animation themed images so you can get these images from dolly you could also use applications like mid journey to create these anime style themes you can also use leonardo right a lot of different applications for image generation ai image generation so you can go use these applications and essentially create your different anime themed styles now it's not only for anime as i said there's multiple templates you can use but for this particular template it's an anime style so you can always just follow that and continue adding to this right and create your own thing but essentially this is just anime images that were uploaded and what in the same style same theme and then what's happening is that morph studio is in taking this image image and animating it so if i Hover over this, you can see that a three. This is a three-second clip. For some reason it's not playing. Um, let me see if I can pop pop out. So, okay, so it it doesn't really show much animation here. But let me. So as you can see right here, this is a, a three-second clip, right there. So you can see the animation playing out a little bit right here. As you can see, the eggs are frying, and this is just based on this image right here. So you just put this image in and then Morph Studio will essentially turn this into an animation. So whatever image you put, it will turn into animation. You could also add a prompt to, to essentially change what happens. So I, I could say eggs frying, frying on stove with bacon or 
something like that. Eggs frying, frying. Okay, so. Oh, wow, I ran out of Grammarly uh, uh, credits. Eggs frying on stove. Uh, and in frying pan. Um, and with uh, with bacon. And then what it will do is that it will generate me a new video, right? Or a new animation that's gonna be very similar to this. Now, I think this is only gonna be three seconds. I probably should have made it five seconds. Let me generate another one uh, that's five seconds long to kind of match this. So the animations do take a while to generate. It, it is in the early stages, obviously. So, and this is a startup project, so they don't have a ton of power to really work with. So you have to understand that the application is not going to be as smooth as you would like. And but the good thing I like about this application is that it does allow you to have up to 10 seconds. So if you go right here, you would actually see. OK, if you go down here, you will actually see that you can have an animation up to 10 seconds long. Now I'm doing this one for five seconds. The shorter, I do notice the shorter you make the animations, the better. Less, the, the less uh, that you have to um, worry about in terms of morphing and things of that nature. So typically you wanna make your animation short and just put them together essentially. So that's the whole point of Morph Studio, right? Cause we have to wait for Sora uh, to eventually be here, right? We don't know when Sora is going to be released. A lot of people are saying it's going to be sometime this summer, maybe in August, but we're not sure exactly when that's going to be available, right? But More Studio is essentially a bridge to that in that you can start doing and making animations uh, using this tool by just making smaller, uh, smaller bites of animation and then linking them together, right? To create a larger video, right? So you can do like little five second clips of different things. You can prompt uh, five second clips here. You can have your image that you wanna use as reference to generate the animation. And more studio will go ahead, use AI and actually generate a cool looking animation for you that you can then go ahead and export as a video, then you can upload it on YouTube, whatever you want to do. This I think this is great for if you want to start an animation channel, if you want to start a basic animation channel, maybe illustration, if you want to do if you want to create ads, right? Because there's tons of other um, templates. And let, let's look at another one. Let, let's actually look at the cyberpunk template. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this one, show you guys exactly what we have going here with the cyberpunk template. So as you can see, so slot one doesn't have anything, but um, it's raining right here. So you have, and, and because you're gen you're generating different uh, scenes, you can then gen when you when you link. So let's say I want to create a whole new export, right? So if you look at this ex uh, this chain right here, right, it's going from this one to this one all the way up to here, right? But let's say I want to create a new export. So I'm going to, my initial starting uh, video or my initial starting clip is going to be this one. So all I need to do is drag it there and connect that. And then essentially I would just do this and then I'll create a new export, right? So what it's doing is that it's connecting this clip, this clip, this clip to, uh, to this clip, and then it's creating the export from that. So. As you can see, that's that. So, um, seems like it's only though. We have to add. I have to link the chain. I have to link the chain together. Okay. So, but that's essentially how you do. You you link it. You you link them up like that. And then you create your new export, and it's very cool, man. Like, it's a great way to create long form animations. And just looking at here, um, as you can see, there's ways you can change the camera, so you can have the camera uh, 
pan towards the left, you can have it, have it pan up, down, towards the right, you can have it zoom in, you can rotate, you can, you can zoom out, right? You can rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise, and obviously you can change the duration, and you can set how much motion you want. Now, obviously, the more motion, the more likely for morphing and things of that nature. So you want to kind of put this around five or six. That is recommended. If you if you put it at all the way at 10, it should be an image that's very static and very little is going on in the image. Like let's say it's just you're just showing an image of a bucket and nothing else is really in the image. Then you can essentially make the motion 10 and that won't cause too much problems. But if you have like a lot of people on in the image, a lot of people on screen, then you make the motion 10. Now, essentially, you're gonna have a lot of morphing, a lot of weird stuff going on. So you don't wanna do that. And this is their early model text, their early text to video model. They also have video to video as well, right? And this is a very interesting one, but Essentially, you can just put a, a video and then it will just change the style based on what you uh, theme right here. So if you say, OK, you want to do video to video right here, um, image to video, you can do, you can then go ahead and change the theme, change the style and then, you know, and then generate. So a lot of things here pretty cool so let's go back to this okay so now we generated our new uh our new one so we don't have any bacon here for some reason not sure why i didn't add a bacon i said with bacon as well so it didn't add the bacon so i think it's because it's using this images reference and it doesn't see a bacon so it doesn't add anything new uh it's just trying to stay true to this particular image so that's fine and I'm still learning this too. Obviously, there are some problems with it, and there are some suggestions that I have for it. Uh, one in particular is that I wish you could duplicate slots. It would be nice to be able to just uh, duplicate a slot. Like if I click these three buttons, it would be nice to go ahead and actually just duplicate the slot, right? To then, to then build and add more to it. Because let's say I generated three different clips within one slot, right? I could then use another clip within that same slot to continue the the video, right? And that would make it dynamic and it would add some nice some nice animations, right? It would ha add some nice effects to the video. So that's one thing that I would definitely add, but all in all, I think it's a great tool. I think it's a step towards Sora. And when Sora comes out, we may not need to use a tool like this because Sora is going to generate 60 second clips, which is just going to be much more impressive than this is ever going to be. But until then, we have to we have to wait. So using a tool like this is good. And yeah, and, I, and shout out to the, the team at More Studio for giving me access to this. I, I'm still playing around with it. I'm still learning how to use this tool but yeah i mean uh definitely you guys can go to more to link is in the description you guys could go there sign up for your access they are giving out uh early access to this tool you can go ahead and use it to create whatever you want to create right it's a very great tool and yeah i mean um there's not much else that i can really say i mean i think pretty much everything i wanted to say I've already said, uh, but essentially, yeah, this is pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about Morph Studio and have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos, but have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Peace.